Good morning, internet friends. It is uh, Saturday, June 24th, 2023. Time is uh, 1020 in the morning. We are rowing on the Dry Creek Arm of Lake Sonoma. And uh, we're up about a mile and a half from the uh, launch ramp at Rockpile Road. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, it's right along in here that uh, we came back in February, I believe it was, <coughs> looking to salvage some floating lumber and uh, <clears throat> I thought I'd come in here and out the water's down about oh maybe 14 15 feet from when it uh, when we were up here uh, just to take a look um, that uh, piece of rope dangling from the tree <coughs> excuse me was uh, tied to the picnic table to keep it from floating away and the rope's still there but the picnic table has been probably carried back up to the uh, little picnic ground up up on the flat right up there <clears throat> However, there is a nice piece of timber right there uh, lying on some logs and uh, I might try and rescue that when we come back. <coughs> um, there's a bit of a place there where I think I can get the nose of the boat up on the mud enough to stay. Uh-oh. Nope, the picnic table was not rescued by the Corps of Engineers. <clears throat> it was, uh, looks like somebody else went after it because <clears throat> there it is in the draw over here. And I would imagine that that one timber that's up there is uh, one of the seats, because I can see one of the seat boards looks like it's still attached. So, <coughs> and the water was uh, high enough that it was uh, that that log up there projecting out over the bank was up about. Oh, <clears throat> two feet out of the water, something like that. You can go back and look at that video and spot that because we came around these trees and snuck in through that gap right there. So, that's sad. I'd hope that... Uh, <clears throat> The Corps would come and get that picnic bench and fix it and take it back up there and chain it down. <coughs> so There we go. Maybe I won't go back and get that one timber up there since it still <clears throat> belongs to the uh, Corps of Engineers. Even though it's a beautiful piece of wood, <clears throat> about a 
four by ten or four by twelve, something like that. Beautiful straight grain wood. <clears throat> I like to salvage that and use it for one of my projects. <coughs> the uh, weather forecast uh, today for Lake Sonoma was, uh, <coughs> I believe, it was a high of 74. Maybe maybe higher than that. I can't quite remember. <clears throat> the uh, winds were generally calm, becoming uh, southeast at uh, six to nine miles an hour in the morning. And uh, just after we'd launched, as soon as we cleared the ramp area, I took out the uh, anemometer and the <clears throat> base wind direction was about six miles an hour. So, although the direction was, uh, has been out of the uh, east to east-northeast, Uh, that's most likely uh, the direction is most likely affected by the uh, hills around here. <clears throat> wind, uh, predominant wind turning and coming up the Dry Creek Valley and up over the dam. <coughs> we pulled in this morning in the parking lot, probably had. Oh, maybe more than 30 cars or boat trailers. <clears throat> so, uh, what with school being out and the lake being full and the weather being nice, um, and this being a Saturday, <clears throat> we're going to start having to deal with uh, holiday traffic on the lake. But we enjoyed the lake being full from this last February. And uh, with nobody out here on the lake at all, or very, very few boats, there were several days when uh, we were the only boat trailer in the parking lot when we launched. And there weren't very many in the afternoon when we came back, so that was then, and this is now. <coughs> Plan for uh, today's row, <clears throat> given that we're going to have a headwind back toward the dam of six to nine miles an hour, <clears throat> I thought we'd come up here maybe a couple of miles uh, mostly up uh, in the vicinity of uh, <clears throat> Broken Bridge Camp and then we'll turn and head back and I'd like to uh, then row up the warm springs on the lake. <clears throat> this little peninsula on the port side here was uh, about six, seven feet underwater last time we were here. Sheriff's patrol boat been patrolling very slowly up the lake. <clears throat> when we uh, left the uh, launch ramp, he was down toward the dam and headed east. Now he's turned around. He's he's going quite as fast as we are. 
above it, it'd be on the water, so I don't begrudge the Sheriff's Marine Division getting out here and uh, patrolling. Imagine with the <clears throat> increased boat traffic, we'll see a lot more of them than we've been seeing for the last six, seven months. folks with the dog. <clears throat> they were uh, launching and they were it's just getting ready to Does your dog point fish? I had an Irish setter who used to point fish. What's her name? Stella. Stella. What are you doing, Stella? Well, yeah. I got no treats. Hello. It's a nice day. Oh, it's beautiful. It must be a, like a Redwood Empire tournament or something. I'm sorry? There must be a Redwood Empire. That's a bass club. Oh, yeah. I see a lot of two people in the boat. People zip by. It's about four or five already came by. That means they were done with the top. They were going south. I was surprised to see that many uh, trailers in the lot this morning. It must have been over 30. That's why I think there's a, a tournament. It's just a club tournament. Nice thing about fishermen is they don't tend to be uh, out wakeboarding and making a big uh, chop on the lake. Right? Like in the south, that's why I'm on this end. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, blowing a steady six. Yeah, Forecast was for six to nine. It feels like it. I'll have to pay for my fun by going back up again. This uh, point up here, my uh, right shoulder, <clears throat> just around that corner is uh, Broken Bridge Camp. 
I think that's as far as we'll go before we head back. <clears throat> freshening a bit so <clears throat> we'll get our exercise headed back the other way <clears throat> when we're uh, going downwind especially with this much wind <clears throat> we don't have any trouble maintaining uh, about three miles an hour if we just rolling but uh, that'll go down by oh, a little better than two miles an hour <clears throat> heading back Just as I was walking down the hill from the parking lot <clears throat> to uh, get in the boat this morning, there was a, oh golly, must have been eight or ten maybe swimmers that were uh, <clears throat> all headed south under the bridge. <clears throat> I remember the first time I ever saw any swimmers out here. They were two, uh, two uh, ladies weren't terribly young and uh, <clears throat> they were coming uh, east down the lake down this arm of the lake and headed for the uh, ramp to climb out of the water and I asked them how far they'd gone they said two miles up two miles back I was amazed Last time we were up here, there's a broken bridge camp. <clears throat> Last time we were up here, that sign was underwater. Six three. So we'll have our work cut out for us on the way back. But we can do it. We've done it before. <coughs> I'm gonna pull in uh, <coughs> right by the uh, shore here at Broken Bridge Camp. February, and uh, I don't know if you can see the two uh, pit toilets up there, <clears throat> through that gap in the trees, 
but uh, those uh, the, the water was up, so it was above the above the floor of those. congestion. we go. At least there's not a chop on the water. And I have enough weight in the bow to uh, keep the heel of the stem down under water so it, the boat doesn't pound. It's, uh, it's gusting up to 11. All right. Well, we need to uh, <coughs> get the wood in the water and get down to business here. about time to uh, shut down the uh, 360 camera. It's coming to the end of its uh, 29 minute and one second automatic turn off. So we'll uh, Turn the camera back on when uh, get something interesting happening. In the meantime, uh, 
do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up. Makes uh, YouTube very happy when they see that. And uh, if you like, leave a comment or questions. I'll be happy to uh, enter into a conversation with you. Until uh, we meet again. <laughs>